This video demonstrates the method for measurement of smoke density for a given polymer example. This method provides a laboratory test procedure for measuring and observing the relative amount of smoke obscuration produced by the burning or decomposition of plastics. It is intended for use in measuring the smoke producing characteristics of plastic under controlled conditions of combustion or decomposition. The measurements are made in terms of loss of light transmission through a collected volume of smoke produced under controlled standardized conditions. It is intended to determine the deterioration of visibility due to smoke produced when a material is burnt in a sealed chamber by assessing the attenuation of the light beam passing through the chamber. The given figure illustrates the details of the burner, specimen frame and the adjusting device. Butane or propane gas is used to light the burner. The burner is placed at an angle of 45 degrees to the horizontal. It is placed on the floor of the smoke chamber such that the flame is directed inside the chamber while the gas pipe lies on the outside. The specimen frame holds the test sample at an angle of 20 degrees to the vertical. The sample is fixed with four nuts between the front of the specimen frame and the protective plates. The frame contains 100 by 50 millimeters of front opening from where the flame comes in direct contact with the sample. The plate made of fireproof material is placed after the sample to prevent the flame from transversing across the sample. This reduces the risk of fire hazards. The fireproof plate is supported by a stainless steel plate. The trio comprising of the sample, fireproof plate and the stainless steel plate constitute the main components along with the specimen frame. An adjusting device is also connected with the specimen frame. It can be operated from outside to move the frame once the smoke chamber is closed. It is used to adjust the distance between the burner and the flame. The apparatus is designed to measure the smoke density from the burning or decomposition of plastics as per the requirements of ASTM 2843. The apparatus consists of a specified dimension box. In the box, a sample is burned by a specifically designed LPG gas burner for a specified amount of time. The smoke generated in the process of burning of sample is measured by the change in light intensity. The light source is placed under the base of the box and the light intensity sensor is placed on the top of the box in the same vertical line of the lamp. The blower is placed on the left side to remove the smoke from the box. A control panel consists digital indicator for light intensity measurement and lux, a timer switches for the lux meter and the timer and a knob to adjust the lux value. We commence the experiment by placing the test specimen inside the frame. The bolts are tightened and the sample is fixed. The frame is placed at an angle of 20 degrees to the vertical and the burner is placed right before it at an angle of 45 degrees. The LPG flow rate is adjusted using the gas control valve. A lighter is used to ignite the flames. The frame is then placed at a desired angle of 20 degrees. It is to ensure the fall of the burnt off ashes on the base of the chamber or else it might hinder the process of combustion. Once the setup is complete, the door of the chamber and the shutter of the smoke discharge pipe are kept closed. The smoke extractor is also turned off. The black curtain prevents the entry of stray lights inside the chamber. Once the setup is ready, the lamp switch is turned on. The adjusting knob is used to set the light intensity value to 100 lux. The timer and light meter readings are noted every 15 seconds for a time period of 4 minutes. After completing the experiment, the gas flow is turned off and the blower is switched on to dissipate the smoke from the chamber. The following set of observations were obtained for a plastic material. They were plotted to yield the given results. The light intensity recorded at 4 minutes is named as illumination intensity which is represented as E4. The area under the curve is calculated to obtain the value of light volume in lux minutes. It is represented as T. 
on the basis of the values of e4 and t the materials are classified into three broad categories it can be used to predict their capacity to spread fire this experiment can be used to measure and describe the response of materials to heat and flame under controlled laboratory conditions however it should not be used to appraise fire risk of these materials under actual fire conditions the results can still be used as elements of fire risk assessment which takes into account all the factors which are pertinent to assessment of fire hazards for a particular end use